playoff basketball, Scotty. It's playoff basketball time. We're well, here. We're back. Let's get it, baby. Welcome to St. Bonifacius, Minnesota, the Wild Athletic Center. Crown Storm playing versus the Morris Cougars. During the season, Scotty, they split one and one. Morris winning at Morris, Crown winning home at Crown. Crown's back here in the playoffs. It's a bigger time. It's a bigger scale. Home crowd is loud in here, Scotty. They're ready. They're ready to go. And we're ready as, as Morris wins the tip. All right, Morris setting up their offense. We have Johnson right now with the ball. The crowd, y'all, is real loud. Carlin down low. He goes up for the layup, makes it. That's two points. Ladd now starting the offense for Crown. Takes a screen from Royston. Carroll over. He looks to go inside. Over to Van Dam. He goes up. And that's good. All right, we have Dak bringing up the ball, going a little bit of drive, seeming to slip there a little bit. Carlin again with the ball, looking to go up, getting stopped by Royson. Saved from an over and back, tipped out by Carroll. A lot of and high energy, Scotty, from Crown right now. A lot of high energy. Floor is looking a little slippery than normal. I'm not <laughs> sure what's happening, but we've had people on both sides slipping. All right, Hader goes up with it. That does not fall. Ladd now pushing the pace. Over to Carroll. He goes inside, and he'll be fouled. I, I think it's shooting. We'll find out. That foul will be on number 21, Tath Dak. His first, team's foul. first. Correct. Cade now going to the line in the regular season. Was an, was an 81% free throw shooter. Now, Crown, Scotty Crown right now. Obviously, we know them as a more of an offensive pace. They like to slow down right now. But obviously, right now, they're playing a little faster pace. Do you think that was that was a, a game plan thing, or is just the energy that's going on right now? I, I couldn't tell you, Ugo. I do not have enough <laughs> knowledge right now to know what Herbert has asked them. All right, we have Johnson down low. He takes the shot. It does not fall. Testerman over. Over to Van Dam for three. Rebounded by Carroll. He goes up. The and crowd is loving this, which seems to be giving a lot of energy to the game right now. Hayter now with the ball, getting a little bit stuck, passing it off. We're going to have Carlin on the drive, and he's going to get fouled. That foul looks to be on Seth Royston. His first team's first. All right, Morris looking to set up the play. Hater going on a bit of a drive here, looking for the inside. Nothing's there. We have up top with Alexander and swung over. Back to Dak. Dak looking to pass inside to Carlin. That's tipped away. Johnson with the rebound, and he'll put it back for two. That was a nice block there by Royston. As Ladd now comes down, over to Carroll on the wing, looking to make some space. Out to Royston, fakes the three. Ladd now drives in, and he'll be fouled. I believe that foul will be on number 11, Dylan Hyder. Ladd goes one for two. And now he's out to restart the offense. Van Dam driving in and he'll get hit with the charge. 
I, I would say, though, that we've seen some pretty nice rebounds on the offensive end, particularly by Cade Carroll, and that's the kind of energy that they're going to need to have throughout this entire game. Hyder now with the ball setting up the Morris offense. Ball is stolen away by Carroll. After several putback attempts, Hyder now with the drive, getting blocked uh, and a putback by so Alexander. So much just happened. So much just happened. You guys, this is one of those moments where you're going to be wanting to watch the screen. We can't even keep up right now. <laughs> Carroll now, step back, got blocked. Dak now with the ball, looking to maybe drive it or looking to pass here. Gets it back to Dak underneath, and he'll put it up for an easy layup there. Herbert telling Crown to slow down the pace of the offense late. Plaid. Over to Testament, over to Carroll. He'll go inside. And that's no good. Rebounded by Ladd. He'll take a three. And that's good. <laughs> Micah during warm-ups was hitting threes comfortably. It's not something he usually does. He doesn't shoot threes. But if he does and he's in a rhythm and he hits them, it, it's a scary sight for the, for the following team. All right, pass over to Alexander. Alexander with a long three. That shot isn't good, but he gets his own rebound. Misses the layup. We got a little bit of a, a tussle on the floor. <laughs> Rebounded by Van Dam. Lad now at the top of the key. Out to Carroll for three. That's no good. Rebounded by Newbert. Lad now tries a three, and that's good. I told you. Mike Lad was feeling comfortable during warm-ups, and he's two for two. At this point, though, it is really due to the offensive rebounds that they're getting. Dak goes up for the layup, and that doesn't fall. Rebounded by Van Dam. He's looking to, to press the offense and push it. Over to Testament. He drives in. Out to Newbert. Inside to Carroll. Everyone wanted to foul. It, it does seem that he was looking for the foul there. And he's he's missed a couple of shots that I would I would think you would nor he would normally make. Those are the shots that we're going to have to make in the long run to stay ahead in this game. I agree, I agree. Timeout by Morris. So All right, we have Johnson down low. He goes up for the shot. It's no good, but it is rebounded by number 23, McBee. He is in for the first time this game, and he'll get two points off that last play. Michael Ladd drove in, saw cutting, saw cutting Cade Carroll. He tried to give Cade the ball, and that was no good. Ended up going out of bounds. Morris Ball. All right, we have Pendleton getting stuck down low, kicking it back out to Alexander. Ball is now up top with Riley. And we have Pendleton on the drive. He misses that layup. Rebounded by Testerman. He receives a screen from Newbert. Over to Ladd for three. That's no good. We have a rebound by Alexander. It goes over to Johnson. Morris quickly moving the ball up and trying to get it inside. 
Riley picking the ball up. Trying to get it over to Johnson, who was open in the lane, but the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be crown ball. Newbert tried to get the ball inside. Looks like a, oh, they're gonna call a travel. It'll Just remain crown ball. To throw it out for the fans who are watching, almost another tussle. You're terrible, you're terrible. In for the storm now, <laughs> number 10, Jacob Massick. Number 21, Seth Royston, and number 12, Carter Bainey. Ladd now gets the ball. Over to Bainey. Massick, Crown now moving the ball. Carroll out for three. That'll be no good. Rebounded by Massick, and he'll pull it out to Micah to restart the offense. Rebounded again by Bainey. Massick for three, and that's good. And like you said, offensive rebounding has been Rebounds key. are keeping us in this game and ahead right now. All right, Alexander's getting a little bit stuck. Swings it over to Riley up top. Screen set by McBee. They're looking for the open person. They find Riley underneath, and he gets a nice two-point layup. Lad now with the ball. Over to Masic for three. That's no good. All right, Pendleton up to Alexander. Swinging it over to 22, it's his first time of the game. Khan. All right, Morris looking to set up their offense, getting it inside to McBee. He's looking to go up with it. Gets it stripped, but rebounded by Khan, who will go up for two. Crown now looking to start their offense. Ladd over to Bainey. He looks to go inside, out to Ladd. Over to Royston, he'll shoot the pull up three. And that's no good. Rebounded by Bainey. These are the rebounds that we like to see. Bainey now. For all of those of you, for those of you, whew, my words here, for those of you who were watching with us this past weekend, we saw a game where very little was called to very aggressive calls. Right now, it does not look like much is picking up a call. Yeah. Passed inside to Royston. Masick now looking for a pass over. Over to Ladd, over to Bainey. He looks to drive inside, and he does that. No good. Over to Royston. He'll go for two, and that's good. Riley now with the ball, starting to set up the Morris offense. It's looking to go on a bit of a drive there. Gets stripped away. Looked like he was stripped away by Masick, and then Van Dam came up with the ball. Masick goes inside. Inside to Royston. It'll remain crown ball, though. Pass inside to Bainey. He looks for Royston down low. He goes up, and that's no good. Carlin with that rebound. Hyder now looking to set up the offense. We have Dak back in the game. Hyder with the pull-up three. It doesn't land, but we get a rebound by Khan. Shot goes up. Again, it's not good. Rebounded by Masick. Ladd now pushing the offense over to Bainey. Van Dam now with the ball. 
He'll step back. Now Massick driving in into Royston, and he'll be fouled up. I believe that foul will be on number 32, Ian Carlin. It should be his first foul, team's fourth. We're almost at the 10-minute mark, and the score is 14-18 in favor of the Storm. Royston hits the first. In the regular season, he was a 76% free throw shooter. And he'll hit both. All right, Riley setting up the offense here. Carlin now with the ball. Looking to create some space, some movement, looking for the open drive. Riley going all the way to the basket to kick it back outside to the three. Khan now looking to pass out. Heider going on a, on a drive there. He swings it over to Riley, and his shot does not fall. I would just like to show on that whole offensive possession, Morris could not get a paint touch because of how great Seth Royston was down low. He, he really did. They are staying tight on the defense. Man Carlin with three, the rebound. No good. Oh. Again, Seth Royston playing great on the defensive end, causing a turnover right there. In for the storm now, number 30, Drew Burnett. And number 14, Cade Carroll. Uh, reset the shot clock to 17. That's what I thought as well. Carroll now with the ball, over to Ladd, over to Testerman. He'll drive in, kick it out, over to Van Dam. He'll fade away. That's no good. I believe that foul is going to be on number 30, Drew Burnett. Correct. His first, team's third. All right, Riley bringing up the ball for Morris. They're looking to make convert here to some points. He goes on a bit of a drive, swinging it out, looking for Carlin, stolen by Van Dam, who goes on a full court run. Carroll got the rebound on that, and it stays Crown's ball. Pass into Burnett. Carroll drove inside, looks to go up, got fouled. He'll go to the line for two. That foul will be on Taft Dak, his second. Carroll hits the first. Can Carroll make them both? All right, Dak now bringing up the ball. Screen set by Carlin. Looking for the open person. Trying to get it inside to Carlin. And we're going to have a foul on the play. That foul will be on Michael Ladd, his first, team's fourth. In for the storm now, number 10, Jacob Massick, and number 21, Seth Royston. All right, getting the ball inside to Johnson. He finds the opening, goes up for a nice little easy jumper there for two points. Testerman now with the ball over to Massick. Over to Carroll. Carroll. 
We're going to have I a blocking foul. I call? believe a blocking foul. That will be on number 11, Hyder, his second, team six. Carroll to the line, he'll miss the first. They'll make the second. The screen set up top, Dak looking to pass. Hyder now looking for the offensive options. Johnson going on the drive here, almost loses the ball, recovers it, goes up for the shot. It Great. doesn't quite fall. Rebounded by Masick. Testament now with the ball. Over to Masick. He'll drive inside. Find Van Dam wide open for in the three at the corner, and that's good. Dak now going all the way with it, and he'll pick up the foul on the drive. I think that foul will be on Seth Royston. I believe that is his second. Boom, got it. <laughs> Team's fifth. Dak makes his first shot. He'll get one more. Second shot is good. The score is now 18-26 in favor of the Crown College Storm. Masick now looking for some space over to Testerman. Inside to Newber, back to Testerman, and he'll go for the layup, and that's good. A good one-two right there from Cade Newber and Alec Testerman. Good little motion offense that we had going on. All right, Morris looking to do the same thing, looking to start up their offense, find the open person. Dak on the drive, and he will try and kick it over to McBee, who goes up for the shot and gets a foul call, so he'll go to the line shooting too. Foul will be on Jacob Masick, his first team sixth. It's weird. In the beginning of the game, not a lot of fouls were being called, and now it's switching to where a lot of fouls are being called. I feel like this is typical of what we see on any given night. I, and I, to be very fair, I would not want to be a ref. <laughs> Their job is the hardest. In for the storm, number 11, Michael Ladd. Carroll with the ball, over to Masick. Back to Carroll. Over to Ladd. Masick lost the ball there. But did you, did you see the way that he kept his movements alive by <laughs> dribbling the ball, even on the ground? Hyder now with the ball, looking to maybe go off a screen by McBee. Going on the drive, he'll take it all the way. That layup is no good. Ladd now pushing the offense. Over to Carroll. He'll lose the ball, go over to Ladd. I'm seeing a lot more sliding than I normally do. Newbert goes inside. And that's no good. Rebounded by Ladd though. He'll go inside with the reverse and he'll miss. A lot of good offensive chances for Crown. They just haven't been able to They've to got capitalize. to finish. But right now, the rebounds are keeping them alive. All right, Hyder finds McBee down low and his layup is good. A 
Ladd now starting the offense over to Carroll for three. That's no good. It really Man. just looks like right now this crown lineup is a little gassed. They've been out there for a good portion of time. All right, we're going to have a foul call. McBee looking to go up. I believe the foul is going to be on number 31, Jacob Van Dam. His second, team seventh. Currently, we have a seven-point lead with a little under five minutes. The game started out really loud, really fast, really high energy, and we've hit a little bit of that mid-game slump. Mm -hmm. Both teams need to focus on their shot selection and make shots. Free throws no good. Rebounded by Carroll. Ladden out the ball inside. Masik took it inside. Inside to Drew Burnett. He goes up, and that's good. Rebound, not rebound, timeout by the Storm. I think that's a 30-second timeout. Morris now after the crown timeout. All right, Riley bringing up the ball, kicking it over to Alexander, and he gets it stripped away. He gets stripped by Bainey. He goes up for two, and that's good. That's how you like to use a timeout. Timeout, regroup. Riley now with a shot from the three-point line. That'll be no good. Carroll with the rebound. Almost lost it there. Grabbed by Burnett over to Ladd. He looks to go inside. He'll go up and that's no good. But he'll go to the line for two. I believe I believe we'll have a foul call on uh, Riley, but All right, that is his first, but it is the team seventh. Both teams are now in one and one. Which means what, Scotty? Which means foul, and you go to the line. This is when your free throw shooting percentage absolutely matters. Indeed. As Testerman now comes in. Ladd went 0 for 2 from the line. Riley now bringing the ball up, looking to set up the, the offense off the screen. Kicks it out to Alexander. He'll go up for a three. And that does not fall. Rebounded by Masik. Masik now drives in. He'll go up, and that's good. You know what, I'll count that as a sound effect for us scoring. That was an incredible sound effect. <laughs> I don't know if all of you heard that, but somehow the mics went really loud. All right, we have number 30, Kujava, on the layup for Morris. Testerman out the ball over to Bainey. He looks to go inside. Back out to Testerman. Over to Masik for three. And he'll be good. That's two threes for Jacob Massick tonight. As he now has eight points. Layup is good for Morris. The score is now 25 to 37. Those two points were scored by Riley. Testerman now with the ball. He looks to go inside with it. Over to Massick. 
over to Burnett. We're definitely going to have a charge. a charge call there. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I think our shoulder dipped just a little bit on that one. That'll be his second. Team's eighth. In for the storm now. Number 14, Cade Carroll. And number 22, Cade Newbert. All right, Riley looking to set up the offense for Morris. Kick it over to Carlin. Looking for the open person or for Johnson to go on the drive. Johnson will go up with it. His shot is no good. Kid Carroll now inside. He'll go up. And that'll be no good. Good shot that just bounced out. Riley now on the drive, swinging it outside to Kajava. And that will be a three-pointer that's good. Glad now with the ball over to Bainey for three, and that'll be good. Trading threes back, back and forth. Riley now looking to go on a drive. Get a little bit stuck there, swinging it back out to Kajava, who will go on the drive. He goes up with it, tries to bake it in. It doesn't fall. Rebound by Carlin. He puts it back up to get fouled. He'll go to the line shooting two. Foul is going to be on Cade Newbert, his first team's ninth. First shot is good. Second shot is good. That makes this a 10 point game. Timeout by Morris. Now, Scotty, 10 point game. A minute 20 till half. What do you think Crown needs to do? To Stop them from scoring. Correct. To maintain, a ten, I maintain mean, a 10 point lead. If you are listening, you're probably laughing because you're like, that's the whole point of basketball. Exactly. It's not the other team from scoring. But you really want to go into halftime up. You want to keep the momentum in your favor. Storm off of the Morris timeout. Ladd looking to start some offense. Over to Carroll. Baining out the ball back to Ladd. Inside to Carroll. Baining out for three, and that's good. Riley pushing the ball up the court, looking to go on the drive, getting stuck now, looking to swing it out. Finds Alexander, who will drive to the baseline. Goes up for the shot with a strong block by... That, that looked like he punched the ball. It didn't even look like he blocked it. He looked he, like he punched the ball out of bounds. Nah, he 100% blocked that. It was a good block. Forrest getting the ball in. Closely guarded. Riley will go up for the layup. He does not make it, but it's rebounded by Alexander. Crown looking to push the ball up the court, but slows it down just a little bit. Bainey now for three again. That's no good. Rebounded by Carroll. He'll bring it out and go for one shot. Definitely trying to slow it down now. We'd <laughs> like to take the last shot, keep the momentum going into halftime. I believe we're going to have a shot clock violation before the ball went out of bounds, which will leave 2.1 seconds left on the clock. Yeah. 
We're going to see a little bit of a press for the first time, trying to keep Morris from getting the last shot. And that will send us into half. The score is 30-43 in favor of the Crown College Storm, but there's a lot of game left. We'll, we'll see, see you in after 20 minutes. Testament over to Ladd. Van Dam goes in for the mid range. That's no good. It'll be oh. Morris's ball. Almost had the rebound there. Almost. All right, we have Hader back in the game, bringing the ball up for Morris, getting it into Johnson. Looking for Carlin down low, getting stuck on the baseline, looking to go up with it. Kept his footing, and he finds the layup. Lad now bringing the ball up. And Dam now. Spin move inside. Rebounded by Testerman. Over to Carroll. Back out to Carroll. Inside the lad. Over to Testament for three. And that'll be good. Testament. Alec Testament hits the three. Hater now setting it out to Dak. Getting it over to Johnson. Looking to set up their offense here. Carlin on the drive and he will go up for two. His shot doesn't quite fall. Good defense there by Royston down low. Over to Ladd. Which will be inside the Van Dam. And that's good. Both teams are playing pretty tight defense right now. Crown staying on Morris and vice versa. Dak looking to go on this drive. He kicks it back out to Johnson. Johnson looking to swing it over to Alexander. Alexander is now stuck. Morris looking for the options here as the shot clock ticks down. Getting into Carlin. He almost gets it stripped away. He'll go off for the shot. Rebound by Hader, who puts it back for two. Glad now over to Van Dam. He gets it stolen. Johnson there with that with that steal, a little bit of a drive. Now they're really looking to set up their offense, finding Johnson down low for the easy layup. Herbert telling his offense to slow down. Over to Testerman. Who will pass it inside to Royston. He'll go up for two and that's good. Nice seeing Royston get big down low. Hater now on a drive, swinging it into Carlin. Carlin goes up for two. I'd say Carlin and Royston are pretty evenly matched this game. Trading buckets back and forth. Testament now with the ball. Recovered by Carroll. And again, Ugo, I hate to say it, but we've got a little bit of a tussle. As Crown will take a timeout. I think that is a, is it a 30 or full? I think it's a 30 second timeout.
right, Morris looking to create a scoring opportunity here with Hayter, creating the offense. Tried to pass it there, it is recovered by Dak. He's closely guarded, getting a little bit stuck now. Getting it over to an in. Oh, it will be a crown ball. Van Dam jump stops in. Over to Testament, he'll drive in, and that's good. Riley back in the game for Morris, and he'll be setting up the offense. Looking for McBee. He takes a little bit of a drive looking to, for the shot. Almost finds it there, not quite good. Testament drives in, and that's good. Crown right now on the offensive end, sharing the ball a lot. I don't think there's a, a player right now over double digits. Again, keeping those rebounds, though. Riley looking to go into McBee. He'll look to go up for the shot again. This time it's good. It's a nice two-point shot, and we're going to go into a timeout. Timeout by Morris, full timeout. Testerman, Testerman for the three. That's no good, but rebounded. Really strong rebound by Royston there. Van Dam kicks it over to Royston. Doesn't quite get the dunk, but he does pull the foul call in his favor. We have Royston who will be shooting two. shot is good. And second shot is good. We now have a score of 40 to 56 in favor of the Crown College Storm. All right, Hater now sending it over to Riley. Riley looks to go on a drive, passing it inside to Khan. Alexander now looking maybe to pull up for a shot. Riley will dump it over to McBee. And that shot for two points is good. We now have Ladd bringing up the ball, sending it over to Carroll. Glad looking to go on a bit of a drive, swinging it out to Testerman. 
who will pull up for the floater. He gets fouled. Testament's first shot is good. And second shot does not fall. The score is now 42-57 in favor of the Storm. Kujava is back in the game for Morris. Alexander now with the ball. Really strong defense there by Ladd. Kujava getting stopped, passes it over to Khan. Khan will go up with it and he will draw the foul. So he'll go to the line shooting two. That foul will be on Jacob Van Dam, his third, crowds first this half. Khan misses his first shot, he has one more. Khan's second shot is good. We have Ladd on a drive, passing it over. For a solid three on that play. That was by Mazik. Dak now on a drive. He'll go up for two, drawing the foul, and he'll go to the line. That foul is on number 22, Cade Newbert. It is his second, team second. Dak misses his first shot. He'll get one more at the line. And his second shot is good. Ladd over to Mazik. Mazik looking for a pass here. Getting it over to Testerman. Crown now trying to find space. Gets it to Newber down low. Gets a little bit bobbled. Morris will pull away with the ball. Riley really pushing the ball up the court here. He's looking to set up now the offense for Morris. Goes on a drive. He pulls up for the jumper. Newber with the rebound. Michael Ladd slowing things down for Crown. Carroll looking maybe to drive here. He goes up with it for the layup. We have a strong layup day by Carroll. The score is now 44-62 in favor of the Crown College Storm. Morris getting it into McBee down low. He loses it on the dribble. Ball will swing back to Crown for Ladd to bring up. Mazik now on a drive, does a little spin move, shoots the ball. That one doesn't fall, Morris with the rebound. Dak swinging it over to McBee, McBee looking for the open person. Khan now finding the open shot, and his jumper was good for two.
flat again, slowing things down, letting Crown set up their offense. Newbert with a little bit of a spin move and drive. Mazik now on the layup, takes the shot. He doesn't get it, but he gets his own rebound. This time, shot falls, and he draws the foul. That foul will be on 22, Maverick Khan. His second, team's third. Mazik's shot is good. Carroll will now come out of the game, and in for him is Jacob Van Dam. Hayter bringing up the ball for Morris, quickly swinging it over to Carlin. Looking for Riley. Riley, who's good at making and creating space there, trying to get it inside. Crown manages to steal the ball. Ladd bringing it up, swinging it out. A lot of movement here. Beatty now on a drive, swinging it back out to Mazik for the shot. That shot doesn't fall. Royston tries to get the rebound, but it will go to Morris. Jack looking to set up the Morris offense. He loses the ball, recovers it, gets it over to Khan. Riley now with the ball. He loses it. Ladd is able to pick it up, and he will go down the court looking for the layup and picked up the foul. The foul is on number 15, Riley, his second. We're going to have a timeout called. First shot is good by Ladd. Second shot is good. The score is now 46 to 67 in favor of the Crown College Storm. And Testerman will sub in for Ladd. Morris looking to create some opportunities on the offensive end this time. Dax swinging it over to Riley. Getting out to Hyder, looking in for Carlin, but finds the drive. Looking for Johnson on that one before Bainey intercepted the pass. Trying to get the ball into Seth Royston. He'll go up, it gets blocked by Carlin. Steps on the line, so it'll stay Crown College possession.
trying to get the ball into Seth Royston there. It slips out of his hands. It'll go to Morris. Dak bringing up the ball now on the Morris end. Getting it inside to Carlin. Before he can take the shot, he'll pull the foul from Royston. Ball will be inbounded from the end line. Inbounded to Carlin. Carlin looking to get it into Johnson. He'll pull up for the little floater there, and that falls. We are now under the 10 minute mark with nine minutes left in this game. Looking in for Royston, he's not quite there. Getting it over to Anderson, back to Testerman. Bainey now looking to go on a bit of a drive. Swinging it out to Van Dam. Van Dam almost losing the ball to Dak. He pulls up for the fadeaway jumper. Doesn't fall, but Bainey gets the rebound. Testerman now looking to call the offense. Royston and, now for three. And now we have Johnson on the rebound, quickly passing it down the court to Carlin, where it's stolen away. Pass stolen by Royston. Testerman now with the ball over to Anderson. Out to Bainey. Over to Anderson again. We now have Johnson on a drive. He manages to create space and pulls up for the shot. Shot is no good as it hits the either the backboard lines or the shot clock. I hope you all did not notice Ugo's disappearance, but I, I can tell you all that hopefully you didn't notice the, <laughs> the lapse or the lack of his being with us. I've just never been so excited to have him back. <laughs> Burnett now with the ball over to Van Dam. Inside back to Burnett. He'll do a little Elijah Long fadeaway, and that's good. His second bucket of the game. All right, we have Pendleton trying to pass it back over to Carlin before it gets stripped away. Ball stolen by Bainey. Over to Van Dam for three, and that's good. Dak now looking to set up the offense, trying to create space and movement. Royston playing really good defense, getting around and getting the steal. Testerman now pushing the ball up. Over to Bainey for three. That's no good. Look at the hustle plays. Look at the hustle plays by Seth. That's a team that wants it. It's, it is a team that really wants it. You can feel the momentum right now shifting towards Crown. A couple of really nice shots, made buckets, that'll do it. All right, Hyder now bringing the ball up the court, going off of a screen by McBee, passing it all the way over to Johnson in the corner. It'll be a little too high, too far, so that'll go over to Crown College. Christian Olinetto now in the game. Over to Bainey, down to Burnett. Out to Bainey for three, and that's good. Bainey now has 11 points. All right. Morris swinging it around, getting the open shot by Riley. It doesn't quite fall. Bainey in with a little layup, and that's good. Bainey now scoring on, I would say what? Back-to-back -back possessions right there? I, I believe so. All right, Riley looking to take the screen by McBee, going all the way down. 
Maybe looking to kick it out to Hyder now. Hyder on the drive on the baseline. He'll go up for the layup. Shot is good, and he'll go to the line for the extra point. I think the foul's on number 12, Carter Bainey, his first. The team's fourth. In the last few minutes, Crown has definitely pulled away a few points. Uh, they are now up 27, where it's 50 to 77. And I think that's the last of we'll be seeing of the full Crown starters and part of the bench. I think the part of the bench that is in right now, Cade Newbert, who's a more of a flex player that they have for him, but they're starting five plus. Carter Bainey, I believe that is it for all of them now for the rest of the game as Dylan Gilmer comes into the game. Good to get your seniors in, especially during playoffs. Gilmer now with the ball. He'll go in. That's no good. All right, we have Hyder on the drive. Shot is good. He'll pick up the foul and he'll go to the line shooting for the extra point. Would just like to shout out uh, Brandon Pratt, um, Crown uh, Crown basketball alum, watching the game right now as Gilmer takes a three. That's no good. Brandon Pratt, he's big time now. Shooting shooting big time shoots, and for for teams out in, I believe it is North Carolina. Johnson on that drive, the shot is no good, but it's a good little reverse layup there. It will stay Morris's possession. Hader looking to inbound it to Johnson. Johnson goes up for the shot. Doesn't fall, but Khan gets the rebound. The putback also does not fall. Rebounded by Masik. Over to Olin Nettle. Over to Newbert. He'll shoot the three. Rebounded by Ola Nettle. And the crown will look to restart their offense. We have four minutes left in this game. Just a score check. 54-77 in favor of the Storm. Ola Nettle out for three. And that's good. That's great. That, that's just great ball movement. You can't even be angry with that. Burnett going in with a little less time, sees a wide open Olinetto for three and and pops it. That's that's just good ball movement. Riley getting some space, taking the three point shot. Morris will get the rebound and Hayter will go up with that shot. Shot is good. He has eleven points this game. Olinetto now with the ball. Doing a little bit of time wasting. Over to Burnett. Johnson with the hustle on the defense, almost stripping that away. Dylan Gilmer fighting to get the rebound. Will be called for the offensive foul. Now in for the storm, number four, Cole Anderson, number 25, Cam Reese. We are in the final three minutes of this game where Crown has a 23-point lead. Riley bringing up the ball for Morris, still looking to set up their offense. Going off the screen by McBee. Swinging it back up top. Khan will take this shot, and the three is good. (laughs) 
Olenetto now with the ball. Over to Gilmer. He gets the screen from Newbert. Cam Reese picks up the ball, puts up the shot, and that's no good. A rebound on that one was by 35 Jensen. Khan now going on the drive. He goes for the layup and is blocked. Rebounded by Riley. Attempted put back by McBee. Ball is in the air and Crown will end with that possession. Olenetto now with the ball. Receives a screen from Newbert. He'll shoot the pull up and that's good. All right, we have a few subs into this game. We have 34 Chamberlain and 30 Kujava. Crowd's going, crowd's going berserk, and I'd go berserk too. I'd go berserk too. All right, 20 Lind on the drive, passing it over to Khan. Khan looking down low for number 35, Jensen. Ball just slips through the fingers, so it goes over to Crown. We're down to the last minute 20 in this game. Crown really being patient with this. Down to eight seconds on the shot clock. Newbert almost had that rebound. I, I Not agree. quite. Kujava now bringing the ball up. Passes it over to Chamberlain. Kujava on the... On the drive, passing it out to Lynn. The shot does not fall. We're down to the last 30 seconds. And at this point, it looks like, I think we know the answer, that Crown will win this game, which moves us to the second round and of it'll the take, playoffs. And it'll bring us right back here. Right back here, right Scotty, back on here. Friday. We, we thought that this might be Ugo and I's last night. Hey, hey, I did not think that. I didn't know. I, I, just I like thought say. maybe it would be an away game yeah, yeah, is yeah, what yeah. I was yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. But it does appear that Ugo and I will be back with you Friday night in the Wild Athletic Center. The whack, for baby. the second round of playoffs. Indeed. The, play, the, the player. And that is the game, folks. Thank you for joining us tonight. Crown, Crown will play the winners of North Central and Northland. I believe North Central right now is up against Northland right now. But we'll see you next time, folks, which will be on Friday. We're so excited. You guys all have a blessed and grateful night. We'll see you later.